Hey guys, it's Steve Brain. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of uh, using the Oracle system catalog and the various views into it to determine when you create a table, what file from the operating system perspective does that uh, table actually reside in. If you guys will remember, uh, looking at the inside of a table space, a table space can potentially have uh, multiple data files, actually probably back here is a better. So we have a table space, inside of that table space we can have multiple files, this is F1, F2, F3, and we said we can have multiple tables inside of a file, but if I do create a table space with multiple files in it, then when I create a table and assign it to the table space, sometimes it would be desirable to know uh, on which file the table I created actually goes in. Again, if there are three files in a particular table space T1 and I create a table in the table space, I'm not necessarily sure where that file, or excuse me, where that table ended up on disk. And as tables grow in size, uh, they could actually be spread across multiple files. But as this slide showed you, inside of each file are something called segments. Segment is kind of a logical unit that corresponds to storage for a particular object. So when you hear segment, for right now to keep it simple, think of table. If I see a segment, it's associated with a specific table. And there are other things that segments can be, but for the most part when you're talking about a segment, you're talking about storage for a particular table. What an extent is, is a contiguously allocated bunch of disk space for a table. Remember the lowest level of disk unit storage in Oracle is called a block. That's the unit of input and output. Every time Oracle reads from disk or writes to it, the smallest unit in which it does that is a block. And our block sizes are typically things like 8K, 4K, 16K, etc. We've talked about it a few points during the course. So a, an extent is a group of contiguous blocks. And for any given segment, which is the storage for an object like a table, you could potentially have multiple extents. Extents don't have to be next to one another on disk. They could be in different places in the same file or actually spread across different files in the table space. But the blocks in an extent are all next to one another. In any case, because of these different potential relationships, it's interesting to be able to find out, okay, at a low level, if I create a table and it has nothing in it, there's only going to be one extent so far. There's no need to create multiple extents. Um, if I only have like one, first time I create a table with nothing in it, there's just going to be a very small amount of storage associated with it and there's going to only be a single extent. So how would I find that guy? Well, first of all, let me walk through the process of creating a table space that has multiple data files. Forgive me if you hear my kids' toys in the background. So I have a command, and this is the same command I, uh, well, I'll show you back here. I took from the slides here. Where do we go? There we go. So this is basically the commands, or these are the commands from this particular set of slides. I'm creating a table space, I name it my table space, now I'm specifying the, da the data files that go into that table space. Again, the table space is kind of a logical collection of disk storage that I can assign tables to, and then for any given table space that I create, I have to assign data files. So I'm saying I'm making two data files, these are the paths to them, I'm calling them my tbs onedbf size to 10 megs another one my tbs2.dbf size to 10 megs. I run this command, takes a second, table space is created. Now, go back to look at the file system and see what happened. You guys notice from previous videos I have showed you the Aura Data XE folder and some of the things that are in it and you see that two new table spaces have been created, my tbs1 and my tbs2 and they are 10 megs as requested. I just created them a moment ago. I'm going to create a table called dummy table. It's a very simple table. I'm going to put it in the my table space table space that I just created. And the way to do that is your standard create table syntax and at the end of that you just specify this table space clause, the table space keyword, and the name of some table space, in this case the one we just created, where that table should reside. And then Oracle's going to say, I'm going to go to this table space, and I know it's associated with this storage, and I'm going to stuff the table somewhere in there. So if I run this command, oh, I'm going to give it a new name. Uh, 
Let's see, what will I call him? I'll call him dummy2 for now. Sorry about that. That's, uh, I got an error because I had already created a dummy table somewhere else for something else, presumably. So boom, I've created another table called dummy2. Now I want to go and know where to find this table. There are two system catalog views that are going to allow me to do this. They are called DBA data files and DBA extents. I'm going to do a describe on those guys. Describe DBA underscore data files. And it's going to show me uh, for all the data files in the database, um, you know, you can see things like the name of the file, that's going to be the operating system path, a unique identifier assigned to it, the table space in which they reside, number of bytes, number of blocks, etc., and other statistics that we won't go into about each data file in the database. So there would be an entry for my tbs1.dbf, which I just created, an entry for my tbs2.dbf. Actually, let's just try that real quickly right now. So I'm going to do select file name db underscore data files where file underscore name like I'll put TBS in there and I don't think there will be many files with TBS in there hopefully just those two will come back the percentage signs are wildcard so I'm picking up anything where the file name contains uh, the capital T capital B capital S and boom there are the two table space files I just created those are listed in there and they're single line entries in this DBA underscore data files view let's look at another view DBA underscore extents Describe DBA underscore extents. You can see the owner of the extent, the segment name, again, that corresponds to the table um, in which it was created, or the table for which the extent is created. A segment could be another object as well. You can see segment type, and that's going to tell you for you know the, the dummy table I just created, or should say the dummy two table, it's going to say segment type of table or something along those lines, the table space in which it resides, etc. So you can see all this inf interesting information in DBA extents. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine those two together. I'm going to select the segment name, the table space name, and the file name from DBA data files and DBA extents, and I'm going to join those two system catalog views on the file ID. So I have a file ID specified in DBA underscore data files, a file ID specified in DBA extents, and I'm going to tie those two together. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to look for segment names. And remember, segment is basically synonymous with the table where the name is dummy2. If I run this query, I'm going to be able to tell the specific file, either tbs1 or tbs2.dbf, in which my table, the first extent of my uh, table was created. And it's going to be some, sort of an arbitrary thing. Oracle's just going to pick one of those files into which to stuff the, the beginnings of the dummy2 table. So we're going to run this code, and we're going to see what it looks like. I do a paste here. I run the code. And you can see that Oracle has chosen to stick this particular table in my TBS1. If I ran this statement on a different day or with a different table, it might have stuck it in the file my TBS2. Both of those are in the same table space. Remember, you can see here that the table space for both of them would be my table space. But I happen to know that disk storage for this particular table is in my TBS1. If I had a, a media failure right now and I lost my TBS2.dbf, I wouldn't lose the data for this particular table. Okay, this quick demonstration of using the Oracle system catalog to look at some low-level storage issues and figure out where things are kept. Thanks, guys.